All right, this is Blender, and I wanted to show you how to align your camera. So I'm in object mode, and I'm on solid shader viewport. So I'm just going to back out of here. And right now, my um, camera is selected. It's right here. This is I just right click on it in object mode and there's my camera. I could go ahead and align this, move it. I could hit the R to rotate it. Um, I find that the best way to line up my camera is I'll actually use my viewport right here and I'll set this up whatever I want to kind of focus in on in my camera. I'm going to center it within my uh, viewport and then I'm going to go to view and I'm going to align view, align active camera to view. That's the one I want. And then it'll kind of like do the actual equivalent inside of my camera view. Um, inside up here, there's a transform panel. If I click that, I also like to do something called lock camera to view. So if I want to even this out and I don't want my camera to move, after I check that, my camera's not going to disappear on me. I can kind of, I'm shift scroll wheeling and then I'm adjusting what I'm doing right here. And look at that, I forgot to start my streamcast. There we go. So I shift and I can hold the mouse wheel and move that. And I've got that adjusted. I'm going to hit shift Z. And so now it's in my rendered viewport shading. And now I'm going to go ahead and render the single frame. Okay. So if I go ahead, my camera selected and I go over to the properties here and I select my camera and then I click render. All right, so now I've gone ahead and I've rendered the frame. And now I want to save this single um, frame as an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image and save as an image. I'm going to make sure I left click my systems bookmark for my desktop. I'm going to change this to name and my name on it. And I actually want this to be a JPEG. You could leave it as a PNG, but I tend to like JPEG, RGB, save as an image. So what's going to happen, I'm going to minimize this. And then on my desktop, there it is. There's my image that I can open in other programs. Like if I want to open it in Photoshop or if I want to preview it in a web browser, it's a JPEG.